from a younger she is much from Billion and Sister Plus Rima Scotty and a third year student of the Wilson Scott and taking the Bachelor of Physical Education. So, um, and you. Uh, I am, yeah, thank you sir. I am F01 Arvin Dicanales. I, I am the designated uh, non commission officer for the Chief of Operation here in Placer Fire Station. Uh, I am in five years it's, uh, in service. So thank you for having with us. And we will start. <laughs> Okay, so first and foremost, sir, uh, thank you for the privilege to take an interview about this interview. So the main objectives for, of this uh, interview is to, to be able to know the and prepare our community and, and prevent, uh, to prevent uh, losing life, property destruction uh, during and after this interview. So the first question for is, uh, what are the vulnerable areas in your locality? <laughs> Regarding with vulnerability, as our data here in the surface stations, we have already four barangays which is under high risk. So when it comes to we are we are focusing on only on uh, fire. So number one of our monitored barangay is the Villa Encesio, Sipunan. Centro and Gangmunson. Because some of the area there, uh, we cannot pinprint with using with our fire trucks. There are small alleys, and sometimes it is not possible for uh, white vehicles. Or sometimes, in the worst scenario, they can be only reached through by human or by motorcycles. There's a second question for sir: is what are the challenges? That you encounter during and after your visit, the disaster challenges. challenges. Okay, we have a lot of challenges regarding we encounter during and after. Number one, during when uh, there is a typhoon, for example, there is a signal uh, signal uh, weather forecast is hit in our like hit in our area, our area of responsibility. We have difficulties on. Uh, executing or implementing our pre evacuation because some people they don't they are not uh, taking early precaution, especially like for example, uh, typhoons which has uh, 120 uh, winds per hour, like it is uh, has uh, we can see a, a high risk impact. So it is a, uh, it is necessary. We need to act it immediately. But some people in that area, like for example, in the bar, like like what I said in the island barangay, that's uh, a big problem with us because number one, they don't evacuate early uh, during during only during those hours which the typhoon is really hitting our look uh, in our area. That's the time they, that they were going to move or to evacuate their 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 houses, the home. So that's the number one problem with us, and also the transportation. No. So, so sir, uh, sir, uh, what are the plans or safety prevention that you have to avoid the high impact of the disaster? If yes, are the people of your community aware of this safety? So, <clears throat> like what I said, we have before, like we have upland because na pumayan. So every year we have every year we have a targeted barangay. We we go, we immerse in that barangay and for a couple of weeks, couple of months, we get data from data from them and then we will conclude what kind of hazard and what kind of disaster that prone or risk to their barangay. How do you educate your community about disaster and disaster risk reduction? Uh, uh, yes, like what I said before, Oplalitas uh, na is our big, big uh, program in the BPK when it comes to Bureau of when it comes to the, our agency, the Bureau of Health Protection. It's the Oplalitas na Pamilyan, which we get data and then 
by that date back, we can educate them and make them aware what kind of disasters they are prone or vulnerable, vulnerable about. And then, and then we give, we give them workshops and also regulation exercises. So when it comes to us, we have do, we do, we are doing of our part regarding with the fire prevention. So when it comes to more on like typhoons and then floods, we will we will just tie up with the municipal NDRR office of our department. So that's that's our purpose for how we can uh, interact with the community in terms of risk reduction and disaster. For the, the, last, the last question is, do you think the local government in, is reduced enough for disaster needs? Um, <clears throat> so I am talking about our uh, local locality, our place, our municipal system. Um, in our department, the Bureau of Fire Protection, we have only limited resources when it comes to rescue. So that's our our problem. When we have no resources, we are not ready enough to this with disasters. So what we are trying to do in order to overcome that kind of risk, that kind of is we have. A preventive measure. So, like what I said before, preventive prevention is better than cure. It is better, better than everything. So, we try to uh, invest in that kind of because we have lots of priorities. No? So we cannot uh, we cannot force them to ban this one, get this one, cure this one. But little by little, step by step, maybe we will be prepared and enough. Ready, ready enough to prepare for the time of the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.